Well, you guys wanted a Hulk effect. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo, huh? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And as you can see, it is still a big mess in here. I'm still trying to get things all sorted. But in the meantime, I thought I'd do an episode. So for years and years and years, people have been asking me to do a Hulk effect. So I'm kind of doing one. My God. And that is taking the form of doing a Hulk voice effect from Thor Ragnarok. And today we're going to be doing this 100% in Adobe Audition. And I'll explain why when we get into the tutorial. I'm sorry, I can't continue over the loudness of my awesome my God shirt. <laughs> Now one thing I will say about the Hulk voice effect in Thor Ragnarok is that it is actually quite subtle. There's only a couple of semitones difference between Mark Ruffalo's natural speaking voice and the Hulk voice. So having said that, let's listen to my impression of both a normal Hulk speaking voice and a raged at angry shouting Hulk. Yes, yeah, same. Hulk like fire, Thor like water. No banner only Hulk! Not bad. Now a couple of people have said in the comments on some of my previous audio tutorials, why don't you show the final mix at the start of the tutorial and then get into it. So let's do that right now. Here is my finished Hulk effect. Yes, yeah, same. Hulk like fire, Thor like water. No banner only Hulk! Hmm, not too bad, right? Now it's not going to be 100% screen accurate because I don't know what software they use to pitch bend Mark Ruffalo's voice. We're just doing this 100% in Adobe Audition, not using any external plugins. But enough fighting around. Let's get to work, shall we? Uh. Not sure why I keep burping every time I try to do an audio tutorial, but screw it. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition. Now I will preface this episode by saying that I really believe we could get a better result by playing around in this plugin here called Ikram Tracks V3 by Flux Audio. But my trial has run out and I wanted the challenge of creating this 100% in Adobe Audition. But mostly it was the trial running out. So we've got two examples here. One of the Hulk speaking normally and one of the Hulk shouting in rage. But since we've already listened to them both in the beginning of the episode, I'm not going to go ahead and play them once again because there's no reason. So let's get started. Head up to Effect, Time and Pitch and select Pitch Bender. Now the reason I'm using Pitch Bender instead of Pitch Shifter is a simple one. It sounds better. When you lower a pitch with Pitch Shifter, it has this splicing and overlap issues and it kind of makes it sound a bit garbled, especially when you lower a pitch. And when you use Pitch Bender, you don't get any of those issues. So our first step here is to grab down a whole step from the drop down menu and from there we're going to drop this bad boy down six semitones and it's going to sound like this. Yes yeah, Sam, Hulk like fire, Thor like water. As you can hear it not only sounds lower in pitch but also slower, kind of like slow motion talking. But let's just hit apply and not worry about that because we're about to fix it. Next, let's head straight back up and grab the exact same effect. This time, we're going to grab up a whole step from that drop down menu and change semitones up to say 4 semitones. I'm then going to change the quality to perfect and let's have a listen to that. Yes, yeah, same. Hulk like fire, Thor like water. That's not bad, but for my liking, I think it might be a little bit too low in pitch. So, me personally, I'm going to increase the semitones to 5. Yes, yeah, same. Hulk like fire, Thor like water. Yeah, that's better. I know it only seems like it's a slight drop in pitch, but if you listen to Hulk in Ragnarok, it's only a very subtle pitch drop. In fact, listen to this. Yes, yeah, same. Hulk like fire, Thor like water. That's Mark Ruffalo's voice pitched up using this exact same process of bending the pitch up. If I bend it back down a couple of semitones for you right now. Yeah, same. Hulk like fire, Thor like water. You can hear Hulk once again. Pretty cool, huh? Now, why lower the pitch just to up it again? Well, honestly, guys, I think it makes for a better lowered pitch effect. It somehow creates a better sound, but hey, that just might be me. If you want to just lower the pitch in Bender, go for it. Just lower it, say, two semitones. But let's get back to our voice effect. So we've got the pitch right now. So let's just add some cherries on top. For that, we're gonna head over to the effects rack. In here, we're just gonna boost the bass with the FFT filter. 
Now you guys know I love a bit of bass boost and I'm always going to set it to default and then we add some points like this in order to draw this shape. Okay, bass is boosted. Last step on this one is pretty simple. I wanna give the voice a little bit of depth in this scene, so I'm just gonna add a slight reverb. So I'm gonna head back to the effects rack, head to reverb, and let's grab Studio Reverb. From there, I'm gonna grab Room Ambience 1 and set the room size to five, and then finish it off by setting the early reflections down to 10. Let's close that out and have a listen to that. Yeah, same. Hulk like fire, thought like water. Nice, one down, one to go. Now gang, the process is kind of similar for the Rage voice, but it does differ just a little bit. So let's start by lowering the pitch the same way. Head to effect, time and pitch and grab pitch bender. From there, let's lower this one down, six semitones, just like the other, hit apply, we'll then head straight back up, up those semitones, only this time, let's only up it by say three. That way, we retain some more of that lower pitch. It just sounds better to me when this is lower, but you can always up it to four if you like. I just like that sort of guttural grrrr when Hulk is uh, yelling. Next, of course, we gotta add our bass boost once more. Now guys, since I've done this countless times, I'm just gonna talk over the entire process of doing it. Now guys, if you do wanna up the space even more than our normal Hulk voice, you know, since we're shouting, you might wanna give it a bit more oomph by just bringing these points up here. Now the last thing is just a way of enhancing and boosting what we already have here to make it sound a little more intense. Whether you add this or not, totally up to you, gang. I just feel like when the Hulk shouts, they add just a little something. So I'm gonna head to modulation and grab chorus slash flanger. And from the drop down menu, I'm gonna grab vocal thickening and up the intensity to 100. If we close that out, let's have a listen to that. No banner only Hulk. Nice. We now have our regular Hulk voice and our Hulk rage voice made entirely with Adobe Audition effects. Now gang, I know in the movie you can hear kind of an auto-tune effect sometimes when Hulk is a bit louder, but personally, I didn't really like that, so I'm not gonna bother attempting that. So that, my friends, is another voice effect and our first Hulk effect done. So guys, you follow all those steps and your voice goes from this. Yeah, same. Hulk like fire, thought like water. No banner only Hulk! Uh, to this. Yes, yeah, same. Hulk like fire, thought like water. No banner only Hulk! So gang, that's my take on the Hulk voice from Thor Ragnarok. Now as you heard when I used Mark Ruffalo's voice as an example, it's actually a really subtle effect. All I've done is just do a slight pitch bend, and I mean slight. And then we've just amped it up just a little bit when Hulk's really enraged. But for now guys, that's all I got for you at the moment. I'm still trying to renovate this place while I'm still trying to put out some content for you. So it's just a mishmash of doing some really easy stuff. So hopefully we'll be getting back some more effects laden goodness soon. Now gang, I just wanted to add something because it's been on my mind as I've been editing this episode. And it may be something that gets asked down in the comments if I don't address it. Can you do the Hulk just normal speaking voice with just voice acting alone? And the answer is totally. As you've seen in the tutorial, we only lower the voice by around two semitones, and that's totally achievable just by lowering the pitch of your voice naturally. So that's totally an alternative if you want to explore it. The reason I wanted to explore the tutorial itself is because Mark Ruffalo's voice was digitally altered to lower that pitch. So I thought it might be worth exploring with Adobe Audition. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button and join the over 100,000 people that have already done that. You can also click that notification bell so you don't miss a single film minute episode. I've got two other audio episodes right over there. And I've also got an effects episode right here. Oh, social media crap is above my head too. And until I see you again, guys, keep learning.